Ooh, that's significant. Where can I find this tooth, dude? I can make something cool out of it. Okay, so there I am, right? Headless. So I'm a little bit taller than that, but God, f dude. Holy sh What's up, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. We're in the Lost River. This place has gotten quite a few updates, and I know I'm late to some of this stuff. You might already know what has been added, but I figured I'd show it off to you guys because maybe a lot of you haven't seen it. And it's exciting to me because, as you guys know, the Lost River is my favorite biome in the game and I think will be forever. There is a new skull that we're going to take a look at, a new canyon. The place has been sculpted out a bit more. The disease research facility has been updated as well. And there is another precursor cache. It's going to be a fun time. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the video. And of course, if you're still enjoying the series, let me know in the comment section below. So we're actually going to head over to the disease research facility first because we want to see those updates. And our friend here, the Lost Leviathan, which is a name that I haven't heard anyone use, and I think I should coin it. The Lost Leviathan. One could say he was lost. Or she. It was lost. So here's a set of bones that's been here for a while. Actually, I think I remember there only being the five or four bones. Now we have a, f a, a larger rib cage, and these things are actually bigger than you imagine. That's one thing I've noticed about the game all in all, the perception, or the first person view, makes everything look much smaller than it actually is. Which is good, because some of this stuff still looks huge, and then when you actually put a size ref... Calm down. When you actually put a size ref next to the things that are in question, notice how minuscule you are as a human being. I think I'm a human. So this is a first sight, a new skull. There's a ton of bones around in the Lost River now, and I'll show them all to you, but this is a sea dragon, if you can't tell, part of it. Some of the other bones are probably scattered around everywhere else, but this is the sea dragon, so remember that whole ridiculous theory that wasn't really a theory, but it was just like, hey, it's cool to think about, that the lost leviathan could have been the escaped sea dragon that mutated because of the disease? No, 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 this is probably the one who got lost down in the lost river. This is the place you don't go, because you get lost and you die. This guy made the mistake a long time ago, and for some reason you thought it was a good idea to come down here too, you idiot. Anyway, we're going to the disease research facility, the broken one. I believe it's all fixed now. Last time we came here, there was a hole in the floor, some of the stuff wasn't textured out, uh, and we're gonna see something cool in that repair room. There's some more bones over there. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor, cause unknown computing theories. Oh, yay! So the game is theory crafting for us. We don't have to do it. Also, let me know how I sound. The mic setup is different. I'm in a whole new place. I know I said I was going to be putting out content consistently, which I will be, obviously, starting today. Um, now that I'm all set up. But there's a lot of stuff changed. I'll make a- I'll make a video about it in the future, but none of you probably care. You're all here for the goodies. Anyway, let's go in. The magnificently sculpted out, designed, textured, destroyed base. We'll pick you up. I'm going to need you eventually. I like the look of it. I do like the look of it. Originally, I was complaining because the outside looked like it was damaged and the inside was just not. But now it definitely looks like stuff is- I mean, look at this. Whatever was in here, it broke out- it broke out once and then decided to come back in. It forgot something, I guess. Ooh, the light in this makes it look awesome. Let me pull out the flashlight. The flashlight has a more, like, deep, volumetric lighting. And it just- the shadows being casted for some reason makes it look horror. And I like it. So here's another, uh... Actually, I don't know what would be in here. Probably little fishies that are somehow not in there, I guess? What's the point of that? Also, something in here. Anyway, we've already looked at this. Ooh, data. Did I get this one? I oh, this is where the floor was missing. Calm down. Don't scare me like that. Yeah, damage report. Okay, so there's the, uh, the one fishy that we have no idea what it is. Oh, wow, the fr whole front of it now. Very good. There's evidence that this facility once housed live specimens. Biological analysis suggests specimens expired approximately 1,000 years ago. That makes sense. That That's a perfect tie-in to the precursors and such. And then this guy. Every other bone seems like rather not intact, but this guy is fully dead. Oh! Oh! This was not here before. I don't remember seeing that. There's a rib cage inside of it now. The outer shell didn't deteriorate with the rest of the body. That's kind of cool. Very neat. I like the little... Uh, it's so creepy. It's like a beetle fish or something. Can we actually... Oh, we cannot go back out this way. Okay, so that was just a temporary 
entrance. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and suge suggested blah, 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 subjected to whatever else that thing said. You guys could have paused it. Ooh, data. Let's get the data. Was this one in here? Research bacteria profile. Did we read this one before? I think so. Attaches. Yeah, this is where it tells us to. Yeah, so here's the, the surprise. These were the warper repair tables, and here is a warper either currently in construction or being torn apart. You ugly bitch. I can't scan them. Well, actually, I don't know. Let me try to scan them. Okay, I can scan something. It's popping up that I can. So let's put this on. Uh, I don't need the propulsion. Oh, I can scan the warper right here. Very nice. I was hoping I could do that, actually. Self-warping quarantine. Okay, so it just downloads the, the details of it. Nothing else. I thought it was going to give some information to this room, but I guess not. I didn't actually try to, to scan this guy. Let me go back real quick. Oh my god, I can. Skeletal remains. Okay. I can also self-scan by pressing F, apparently. Skeletal remains found in alien habitat. The skeletal remains of a vast predator discovered inside an artificial habitat at the alien research facility. One, habitat. The environment constructed to house the specimen suggests it was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat once supported extensive plant life, though it has since decayed. Two, cause of death. Time of death coincides with the facility's abandonment. There is little physical damage to the skeleton, suggesting death from malnourishment or outside interference. I guess it couldn't move. It doesn't look like it was very mobile. It looked genetically malformed. Three, biology. While it shares some skeletal traits with the biter, this fossilized specimen is significantly larger and features unusual forearms, more in common with the sea dragon. It matches no living species encountered so far, indicating that it either faced extinction in the past thousand years or evolved beyond recognition. So this could be a product of the Karar mutating. Maybe it was a sea dragon at some point. I, I don't see that, though. This is very- it's an armored thing. It could be a mutated sand shark? That's what I'm thinking, is a sand shark. Or possibly a bone shark, but I feel like it looks more... rounded, like the- like the... sand shark. Anyway, back to the warpers. So... Nothing else I can scan, I guess. Oof. Wait, I got another thing, didn't I? Damage report, infection results, your immune system is currently- Oh, okay, so this is telling me that I'm in- that I'm, uh, infected. So, yeah, at some point in the story, We'll come down here and find out, because that's what we're supposed to do. I believe you go to the mountain island, because I did it on stream, uh, first? And the array tells you you can't disable it because you're infected, and then you get more information from Suzy Q to tell you to come down here. And then we'll get a little bit more data. That's nice. And then we'll eventually we'll head to the lava biome. Yeah, so that seems chronologically correct. I could be wrong. Did I not pick you up? I'm gonna need you, buddy. Oh, another- what- what- how did I miss that? Is this another entrance? Alien research data. Okay. Yeah. We found this. Picked up signal going down to the alien thermal plant. There we go. Okay. So this was not- this has to be the same entrance, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the same entrance. How did I miss that? I just went straight left. So, that is the disease research facility. I believe in its final form. Probably gonna be included in this next update. That should be coming up probably tomorrow. At least that's what the uh, Trello says. Where the hell am I? That's right, the exit's over here. My bad. Anyway, so we're gonna head over to where the, uh, the cache is. And that is located at the entrance from the Grand Reef to the Lost River. They did talk about how they were gonna close that off at first, but I think they're keeping it. Which is nice, I do like having multiple entrances, because you still have out here, which goes to the Blood Kelp 2, if you go down, or up to that little, uh... Not the cove, but I actually can't remember the name of the other place, that small area up there where the other, the tiny version of the Lost Leviathan is. And then you have, obviously, the entrance where the waterfalls kind of come down from the original Blood Kelp, and then you have the Grand Reef entrance as well. Alright, so for those who don't know, the entrance is right past the Losty, Losty Leviathan. And this is the giant cave. Originally, back in the day when it was in early development, this was completely closed off, and then we got the entrance that leads straight up to that abandoned base in the Deep Grand Reef. Which is where you can find, I believe, an orange or blue artifact. If I'm not mistaken. What is down here? Hello? Oh, yeah, because the exosuit can go down here. It can't survive this, right? It's, like, incredibly... Acidic brine. So here's some more skulls, rib cages. I mean bones, not skulls. These are not skulls. Dude, that's huge. Hey, what the hell are you? This goes back, I believe, to the Deep Grand Reef, right? Yeah. So this is the Deep Grand Reef 
cave entrance. There's another bone right- ooh. That's a weird looking bone. It's like a sword stuck in the ground. I wonder what happens if I pull it out. These guys don't like me being here. Oh, it's stuck in the- it's wedged into the tree. Now I'm stuck. Fuck! Some got scattered around a lot, or was like swimming down here and deteriorating at the same time. Cause I mean, yeah, we have some bones here, but they're like, fuck, they're all over the place. I believe if we go left here, and I know I'm talking too much, I apologize. Beautiful environment though. Uh, we go left here, we're gonna find the other giant skull, and I think that's it right there. Dude, this thing is so creepy! Oh my god. I feel like every time we do a video now, it's in a creepy place. This game has turned so horror. It used to be like so happy and I'm swimming around and loving life and now it's like what the fuck is this thing? So I was thinking originally this was like another version of the same thing we saw in the disease research facility But then I saw the teeth and I'm like damn no this is a this is just the skull This is not or oh, it could be it could be Something else, you know, I don't even know this. I don't even understand the structure really I want to build a base right here. So there's some ribs you can see them um, so, this actually, yeah, okay, so the ribs actually come all the way. So this is actually not a giant skull, but it's more like a worm or a regular fish-shaped creature. I think it stops down over here, doesn't it? And look at all these weird lights, dude. Like, they were, this is, this is, the, the cache is over here, by the way. There's an entrance right there. And we can go in and, and look at what they've been doing. But yeah, they're, they're kind of like... See, I don't know if it goes down. I'm sure the skull ends here, though, but I don't know if they're implying that this guy was like a worm of types or just a... Not really worm, but like a sea snake or serpent. I don't know. Super creepy. Can I scan you? I don't think so. Maybe not yet. Maybe eventually. Anyway, not much more we can do here, so... Oh! Hello. Do we have another entrance? This goes to the blood kelp, obviously. Is this the f the first blood kelp? Like, oh, hey. <laughs> this is the first blood kelp. Okay, so there's a... Shocker. Uh, I don't know what part this is. It's a rock falling. That's obviously fecal matter. Oh, we got Brian over here, too. Oh, is this the entrance? This might be the entrance right to the, uh... I haven't actually been here in a while. Yeah, okay, so this is where it... Okay, I see. So we have a lot of entrances now, which would make sense. Like, I never really thought that a biome should have, like, one single entrance. It makes more sense that naturally it would develop different areas that you can come down into. I haven't seen a shocker in a minute, dude. Da -da -da -da. Oh my god, dude. Look how huge he is. Oh. I'm gonna free cam it and show, instead of spawning in a size ref, I'm gonna go ahead and free cam it and show you. Who's missing a tooth? Ooh, that's significant. Where can I find this tooth, dude? I can make something cool out of it. Okay, so there I am, right? Headless. So I'm a little bit taller than that, but God, fuck, dude. Holy shit. Actually, now that I think about it, wasn't there a concept art with something that looked just like this? I guess the positioning is making me see images I probably never have seen, but... I don't know, maybe. Uh... Okay. Scared me for a second. <laughs> Let's go to the cache. I'm gonna need some precursor keys. Which I have some. Because I'm magical. There's Reginald down here too. Hey, buddy. A Reginald. That's a strange thing. This is, uh, by the way, I think this is the only area that actually looks like this. You see how it's kind of like... It was almost like it was molten at some point and just kind of shaped. I wonder if that's just me. Let's put this in. Oh, it needs this orange artifact. Okay. I gotcha, and I think you find the orange or blue one in that abandoned base down there, but oh yeah, here we go. So this is the research cache. It doesn't look like there's a data terminal, but we can assume that they were doing some kind of research here. This is obviously the warper repair table, but I guess they're using it to imply, you know, a research table. We have microscopes and... Holy crap, okay, we're collecting fecal matter and studying it. I understand. You gotta do that, dude. Someone's gotta do it. We got bones. Okay, so these- this is where the missing bones went. What the f- Okay, that's part of a rib, I gotcha. I was like, it looks like a hook that you would, like, put on your hand and hurt somebody with. Another one of these things. I was told I can move this, so let me actually try that. Can I move that? Yes, I can. I can move it. Does it do anything, though? I could probably take this and put it on my base, dude. 
Alright, so I got all these, which I will take. Can I... I cannot propulsion cannon that. Okay. Well then, this one's actually pretty tiny, and again... The inside looks like something molten. Like, this actually looks like the textures that are down in the lava zone. We're actually higher up than the disease research facility, too. So it's actually kind of weird. I guess this could have been a spout from the volcanic activity down, but... I don't know! Oh, these lights, too. Hey, look, we got some spotlights. This guy is on display. He doesn't even look like he's being researched. It seriously looks like he's on some kind of, like... Display in a museum. You see that like everything is set up perfectly to illuminate it so that way when you come up you can see it The brine would do it enough, but they added extra This is a fucking museum, dude One could even say that the cache looks like a museum setup as well like the research table could be there as As something on display you think maybe maybe right see like all this is hey you walk by and you see it I mean what could they really be doing in this? This is all for looking and then you can grab a specimen and look yourself kind of thing, and then this is like, you know... Just here to show, hey, this is what the precursors used. I don't know. And then here's more displays. I don't know, there's no data terminal, doesn't tell me anything about it. One could assume, right? One can make up theories. The game's already theory crafting, why can't we? Anyway, so that is actually it of the Lost River. The- I- what I thought was done is actually getting more and more updates, and it makes sense. Like, I think the cache, or the caches, the multiple cache locations, um, was actually a thing that they're going to keep doing if they're a lot allotted the time and the resources to do it. It's not something that was originally finite uh, in in the previous plans for the whole game. So at least that's what they said. I don't know. Things change, dude. But this is awesome. I like the skull. I wish I could take it home with me. But unfortunately, it's a little too big. I do want that tooth. I want that tooth. Can I get in through that? Oh my god, it's so big. Anyway, yeah, so that is it. The update that's scheduled for tomorrow is actually supposed to be the primary research facility. However, I feel like it's going to be delayed because I checked on it again and there's not much going on change-wise. I'm hoping they're actually going to update it before I leave because I'm going to be out of town starting the 24th. So I'm hoping that something is going to happen so I can show you guys uh, before I head out because I won't be able to record anything while I'm gone. More than likely, I'll do my best, but... It's gonna be a hard, hard time. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you are, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.